Hi guys, just a quick catch up on the build that's going to look like that. Uh, what is that? A 1950s white Freightliner. So I just did a wee measurement with my tyre here, my wheel I should say, and roughly the height of the wheel is two wheel heights to the, the top here. So I know my, the back of my cab has got to be two tyres high. So I've got this squared away now, I've trimmed it just now, so it's the right height at the bottom to about and where the windows are. And I've got my trusty measuring semi tire. Over here, got a scrap of metal. This is a case off of a, I don't know, probably a tuner or a EQ or something, thanks for the smarty. I'm going to use this as the back of this cab. So what I'm going to do is measure two tyres high, which is going to be just less than what it is actually. If I go, mm -hmm. it's about there. Yeah, so if I take about 10 or 15 off the bottom of this, that'll give me the height that I'm after, that'll be from the bottom of this cab to the top of this line here, not including the roof, just, just the back. I'll put the roof on separate. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Cut it to height, and then I'll, I'll wrap it around. Put some rolls in it so it rolls around the back here, and forward. What I actually think I'm going to do first though is cut the sides off for this and I'll use these for the doors probably and I'll use this for the back. So I'm going to get on to that and I think I'll show you this while we're at it. Serendipity. Let's see. Check this out. What a nice little, uh, this will be perfect to use as a, um, a bumper for the front this truck. It's a little metal part off of a toaster. I believe this is from a Sunbeam toaster. So yeah, it's worth keep holding on to that. It's going to look quite good. See that? Yeah, it's going to be work out alright, isn't it? A little bit of modifying and that, and that'll make a nice little uh, front bumper. So I'm going to get on with this, I'm not going to film much of this build, just so I can expedite it, get it done, get out there and start hanging out with the guys at the truck club, the 140 scale, and I'll take my time and video the uh, Peterbilt build, but um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today, nothing fancy, just a quick catch up, let you know what I'm up to on the Christmas break, alright, let's get at it. For the window and you can see here where I'm going to do the same cut this out and the reason for that is for this here so that's where my window is I've already drilled that 
and I'm about to drill a hole in the sheet there, 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 and the other places for where this opening is, for where the engine is. So I'm just going to rough it in really. I'm just going to drill the holes. I'm not going to cut these shapes out yet until after I've rolled the back of the cab, which will be up where these lines are here, either side. And that should line up with about here and here, roughly. I'm not getting too exact, so I'm using my stepper drill bits for putting these holes in. These little buggers are expensive, man, but if you're drilling holes in sheet metal, they're excellent because they don't grab like a standard drill bit with, with thin sheet, so worth the investment. So, yeah, I'll get on with this, I won't film it. I'm just going to drill some holes, then I'm going to slice out these bits on the top here where the fold is so that this will fold roll nicely so uh, I'll get the camera on when I'm about to roll the edges here but I won't worry about this for now so that will put in theory at about here that line should line up with the uh, floor pan and it should sit somewhere like that and um, once I've done that that leaves me plenty of meat then I can measure from the back forward I'll do another lot draw another line here once I've rolled it and then I can put a, a wee um, swage line bead line along here for the door jam and cut the rest off that's the plan yeah yeah so I decided not to drill some of those holes but you can see I've got the set up here bit of pipe welded to a bit of flat clamped onto the bench nothing to it so that's how I'm gonna bend the curve in the back of the cab here so I'll just put you down here on the bench for now yeah is that a good spot not too bad here we go see that there in the camera so it's in about the right spot so um, let's check that first should be about right I can always um, adjust it if need be it's about there It's all just eyeball and roughing in. I'm not measuring it. It'll do it. The rear of the cab. So those um, slices I did there, I might have to uh, beat on this to get this roll a bit nicer. But it's within Kui's range now. So let's see. I might do that. That looks weird. That bend there. But other than that, she's getting pretty, pretty close. See in there? Yeah, man. It's almost bang on. So bit of finessing that'll be good then I can um, cut this stuff out the back here and then it should slip straight down over the uh, chassis you'll see this line I've got drawn across here that's the one that's in line with the, the floor pan that I told you about before so I'm gonna finesse this into place
See how it looks from the back. Uh, I'll overlay a photo of the truck that I'm copying, but in here there will be. Um, I'm going to make a little pseudo engine just to fill this hole here. And um, we've got the little rear vision window, cavity for the engine block. It's not quite sitting right because this piece of plastic here from the Tamiya tanks holding this up maybe about 5mm on this side in this corner so it's not quite right see that's all janky but that's enough what I'll do now is see where this tire is I'll just place that there just roughly I'll go about 10mm more than the circumference of the tire and go down and around so I'll cut that out also I'll put the front back on get the idea of the width of the door and I'll put a, a bead line down here probably but I'll stop short of this I might cut that and fold that over to, like a rocker onto the floor pan there that's the uh, plan at this stage anyway oh and I also got to drill a hole here or nearabouts and square the bottom to make that step hang a little step down there it should look the part we're getting there so this pretty much takes the back of the cab to the bottom of the roof where it starts to um, curve over I'll do the roof separate but that is the back of the cab she's pretty rough and ready I can fear it up and hide the rest with little details and things like that but that's how it's done man if you want to make your own models just get at it and if you cock it up it's not the end of the world there's always more scrap metal people are always throwing shit out so yeah I'm gonna call that a video today I wasn't gonna video this build but I really get my jollies off when I can reuse and recycle and I like to share that to you know encourage others to do the same and just use their shitty old electronics to build their models so um yeah hopefully this inspired someone and i'll see you on the next one catch us later mm -hmm.